Hello boys and girls, it is Miss Ferguson. Today we are going to be reading a non-fiction book. Non-fiction is about things that are real and it tells you facts that are also true about things that really happen. So today we are going to be reading this story under the sea. While we read about it, I want you to think about what the main idea is. Remember, the main idea is what the story is mostly about. So while we read, I want you to think about what the story is mostly about. All right, under the sea. Let's see what the story is mostly about. Dolphins. Under the sea, it's a different world. Dolphins are some of the friendliest animals that live there. Here's a mother dolphin with her baby. The mother's right here. Lift the flap to see her talk to it. All right, let's lift the flap and see. Click, squeak. Dolphins speak using clicks, squeaks, and squeals. Baby dolphins stay with their mothers until they are about three years old. Dolphins breathe air just like we do. They swim up to the surface for air. They can breathe as fast as you can blink. Then they dive down again. Dolphins live in groups. They help each other look after the babies. It says, watch this. Dolphins love to play. They can swim so fast. Splosh. Sometimes dolphins chase each other for fun. Just like you guys like to play tag sometimes. They like to swim beside boats too. You can see them leaping in and out of the water. Ooh, sharks. Sharks are all shapes and sizes. The smallest is the size of your hand. They can be that small. The biggest is as big as a bus. That's really big. This one is called a great white shark. He's right here. It is fierce and strong. If you were a fish in the sea, the biggest shark of all is called a whale shark. It's a gentle giant though. When it eats, it just opens wide. The tiniest shark is called a pygmy dwarf shark. And he's right here, he's really tiny. Let's go back and see what was under here. Just look at all those teeth. A shark like this has about 3,000 teeth and they are very sharp. You better swim away. So this one is a tiger shark, a blue shark, a reef shark, and then the great white shark. Let's go back over here. Remember this one was the whale shark. He's the biggest, but he's a gentle giant. And then we have a pygmy dwarf shark right here. Let's see what's under here. Whoa, look at his mouth. Oh my goodness. It says, Arg and swallows a mouthful of tiny floating animals. It is so big, it has to eat lots of them. I bet, he's really big. He probably needs to eat a lot. Seahorses, these are seahorses. They are fishes, though a seahorse doesn't look like, look much like a fish. Baby seahorses grow inside their fathers, not their mothers. This is a father seahorse right here. He must have a baby in there. One of the babies is being born. Can you find the brother and sisters? Let's see. I see one here. Not sure if I see any others on this page, but I definitely see one there. Let's check over here. A seahorse swims by waving the fin on its back very quickly, but still only moves along slowly. This is the fin on its back. When it wants to keep still, it curls its tail around something and holds tight. All these animals are the real size. The one above isn't yet fully grown though. There's another fish here hiding in the seaweed. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's called a leafy sea dragon. It's like a very frilly seahorse. 
Some grow twice as big as this. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what's next. Next we have corals. All these lovely yellow, green, blue, and red shapes are made of tiny animals called corals. Lots of corals together, like these, are called a coral reef. See what you can find living on the reef. There are lots of places for little fish to hide from bigger ones. So look at all of these places here. The fish can hide in here from other bigger fish that might eat them. Lots of the fishes here have pretty patterns. This helps them to hide among the bright corals. Corals give off a small dose of poison if something touches them. This fish is in danger. Oh no. Here's a starfish. And look, there's a little fish under there. An orange rock makes a good hiding place for an orange octopus. That's a good spot for him because you can't even tell he's there. He's camouflaged. He blends in. He's like invisible almost. That is so silly. Oh, let's look at this page. This says deep down. This means deep down in the bottom of the ocean. Deep down. Deep in the sea, it's as dark as night. Some fish have lights on them so they can see and be seen. This flashlight has a light by its eye. It covers the light with a flap of skin to turn it off. A viper fish has a light on its back. Other fish swim to the light and get caught by the viper fish. These are little lights. So these fish, they're deep down in the ocean, so they need light so they can see. So that's why he has a light up here. And he also has lights down here, which is pretty crazy. Could you imagine if you had lights on you? That would be really silly. This is an angler fish. It has a light above its head. His light is right here. Other fish notice the light and swim to it, but they better watch out. Uh oh. Oh dear. The fish swam right into the anglerfish's mouth. Oh no. The anglerfish doesn't chase its food, it only swims slowly. These hairy bits light up too. Now we're looking at near the beach. Closer to the beach, the sea is shallower. Lots of animals live here. There's plenty to eat and the water is warm. Here, sunlight reaches the bottom of the sea, so lots of plants grow too. These little things are jellyfish. These are jellyfish right here. Here's a sea urchin. These are called limpets and the starfish. This is a blenny. There's something behind the seaweed too. Let's see. It's a lionfish. Watch out. It has spikes on its back. They'll hurt you if you touch them. It says, I'm not called lionfish for nothing. This stripy eel is called a zebra eel. It's chasing an octopus. Lift the flap to see how the octopus gets away. He says, octopus, yum, yum. He wants to eat him. The octopus says, bye. He's going to hide back there. When the inky cloud is gone, the octopus has escaped. Oh my goodness. The octopus squirts a cloud of inky liquid. You can't see me now. What? That's so cool. He spread out ink so we couldn't find him. Fishy tricks. Some fish are good at looking after themselves. They use clever tricks to keep safe from other hungry fish. This fierce fish is a grouper. It's looking for something to eat. This puffer fish is in danger. When it is scared, the puffer fish sucks in water. It fills up like a balloon and spikes stand out from its skin. I'm not eating that. That's what he says. 
this parrotfish can make a gooey slime that tastes horrible. It wraps itself up in the slime before it goes to sleep. This is a place. When it's lying on sand, it looks like sand. Lift the flap to see what happens if it moves. Let's check this flap first. If other fish try to eat this pair of fish, they'll get a mouthful of yucky slime. Now the place is lying on pebbles. It hides from other fish by changing to match its background. Look at that. It looks like it's in pebbles. That is so cool. It's camouflage. This book has shown you some of the things that live under the sea, but it would take thousands of books like this to show them all. So we just read this story. It was about many different things that were under the sea. So I want you to think about what is the main idea of this story? What was the story mostly about? You're going to write about what the story was mostly about and then draw a picture to go with your writing. I hope you liked the story. Thank you so much for reading with me today. Bye boys and girls.